oopsie daisy hey what's going on any creepers kef kef creeper here coming at you with another gta 5 video that's right guys i said it another gta 5 video when in the hell did you make a gta 5 video well uh i checked in the history books i checked in my channel when the last time i made gta a gta 5 video and that was three years ago guys this is the first time i'm playing gta 5 making a video about it in over three years that is insane i can't believe time went by that quickly you just saw me there hey how's it going okay um i'm gonna let the game load up let me just turn the light off real quick so you guys can see that better uh there we go okay so i'm gonna load the game up i'm gonna get the camera all positioned i can't get a position until the game's loaded up okay and there it is there's trevor loaded up um with the with the dress on i'll be right back guys once I load up my online character, and we're going to start playing some contact missions. That's right, we're going to be doing contact missions. So, let me go ahead and load up my uh, my GTA online character, and I'll be right back once I get that loaded. So, I'll see you guys there. Okay, we're finally here. Um, Let's see what my ape is doing. I haven't played GTA V in quite a while. Uh, No, it has not been three years. I played it before that, and oh, this is actually my uncle's GTA character. Uh, yeah, I actually have him here. Let me go ahead and change to my normal 8. There he is, in all of his glory. Wow, when was the last time you guys seen him? Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, let me go ahead and load up a contact mission. But first of all, let me just show you my house. Oh, this Christmas tree still here. Okay. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you my cars. Uh, yeah, I have three garages. Three houses, okay? So yeah, one of them is up in Polito Bay. Why? Because I can have it in Polito Bay. That's why. So here's one of them. Uh, I'm not going to go in depth on it, but, uh, one of my first cars, of course, is the Sultan, uh, it's all the way back there, so let me just go ahead and skim real quickly through these cars, look behind you, there it is, yeah, this is the first car that I've, I've had pretty much, I've had this since, since, like, I first started, and it means a lot to me, so is this one, but then again, I sold it, and I bought it back again, so, yeah, uh, let, let me go ahead and show you my supercars, yeah, I'll meet you there. Uh, I can pause the video. Yeah, look at that license plate. Can you guys see it? It says 8 for life. You guys see that? 8 for life. Yeah, that's right. I implemented that. There isn't the iFruit app that you can change the uh, the license plates, and that's what I did. I put 8 for life on my license plate, and we're almost there at my house. So, yeah, I'll be back once I'm there, and I just hit a pole. Okay, so here we are. This is my second garage. Uh, I don't have a space for these cars. This is my supercar garage, even though these are not supercars, obviously. But you will start seeing the supercars right here. Here it is. Uh, these are cars classified as supercars. Of course, my adder made that after the heist. A lot of money. Got, by the way, a million three hundred thirteen thousand six hundred eighty-one. But that's about to increase today. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show you my last other garage. That's up in Polito Bay, so this may take about... I'd say five minutes, so I'll see you guys back when I get there. Uh, you know what I could have done? I could have just, you know, set my my spawn to uh, the house in Polito Bay and then left the game and come back. Um, yeah, I could have done that, but you know what? We're kind of almost there, so yeah. We're going to keep driving there anyway, so I'll see you guys then. A little history lesson I'm going to teach you guys. This car was originally gray, as you can see the gray on the trunk and the roof. It was originally that color, and when I was changing the color of the car, I realized that it looked pretty cool like this, so I decided to just keep it like that. So yeah, it was supposed to be one solid color at a point, and I thought red looked cool. And then I saw it to myself, I was like, wait, I thought to myself, I was like, wait a minute, this looks pretty cool just like this, with the gray and the red. So I kept it. Okay, so we are just arriving here at my house. My cat is scratching and clawing at my door, and that's annoying. Anyway, this is my, I like to call my classic car garage. Uh, yeah, here's, of course, my truck that I've had for quite some time. I think I sold it at a point and bought it again. Uh, these cars actually came just like this the way it is, except this one, well, obviously, because, you know, the color. I changed it, and it was, like, a lime green. And This one came like this, I think. This one I customized. This one's based off, I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but this one's based off of Driver 2. Uh, there's a car in Driver 2, like, in, in the, uh, in the stadium or whatever, and I decided to base it off of that car, so there it is, right there. But at the same time, you know, with kind of my touches to it. Uh, and of course, we have our nice little Bel Air here, uh, looks pretty cool. The house, of course, you know, everybody knows what this house looks like, so 
I'm going to load up a contact mission, guys. Actually, first, I'm going to drop off my car, so I'll be right back. I like to drop my cars off. I don't like driving my cars out or I don't like having it out when I'm with a mission or something like that. So let me go ahead and drop the car off, and then I'll, I'll be back with you guys once I'm in the contact mission. God, driving to Los Santos takes forever. Oh, <laughs> takes like five minutes of your time. Just, oh, just please, somebody put me out of my misery. Life lesson, never text and drive. Sorry, I'm just, I like calling up everybody to get jobs and choosing the best one. So yeah, guys, let me park this car inside real quick. Okay, it is now time to select our mission, and uh, I did give a few people a call, so process of elimination, oh, but there's only one person, we can't play that, nope, nope, we can't do that. Uh, we can probably do that, we can't do this, uh, we can do blow up, and I do like doing uh, Gerald missions. So, how about we start off, and we can't do that, uh, how about we start off with blow up from Simeon, so, uh, yeah, let's do this. I hate Simeon, but you know what, it... Gives us our money, so we do like playing on hard, don't we? Come on, we all play on hard, don't we? I only do it for the money, I don't know about you, but uh, yeah. Let's get this mission going. Let's do it, I'm level 167. I'm not sure what level I was last time I played it, and I hate how it takes my mask off. I like putting the clothes on. Okay, there we go. By the way, if you want to see the clothes I have, uh, is Retro Ape. This is the first ape that I've ever worn, you know, my first outfit. This is Today's Ape, of course. Uh, this is the Randy. This is my uncle's outfit as of right now. This is Officer Ape. I actually got this from a little glitch that you can do. Uh, go ahead and look. Uh, cop Capacity, I believe, is the mission. Go ahead and look that up. Uh, yeah, this is my cousin uh, Shane. Yeah, I decided to make him. Why? I don't know why. Hillbilly 8. There you go. He's got a nice suspenders looking all pretty, pretty. Uh, party 8, this is when I go and party. Well, not with the gun, but when I go party out, you know, I'm gonna get the nice little bow tag. Rocker 8, this is me when I go rock and roll, you know, when I'm up on stage. I got some gold shoes going on. Uh, Biker 8, of course, I got my nice little Ape, uh, ape Squad um, little logo there on the back, and that's pretty cool. And this is Vavu 8, of course, with the nice Portuguese. I'm going to say backpack, even though that's a parachute. That's meant to be a backpack, you know. Um, I'm just going to, but even though it's a parachute, I know it's a parachute, but, you know, it's his. It's Vavu's backpack. Don't judge him, Okay. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get to the mission now. Okay, we're here now. How are we gonna deal with this in an appropriate manner? I think we should just go in for the kill, you know? Uh, I think we're gonna park this car right here and use this as a wall. So we have to destroy the vehicles. This is our first mission. So I have some sticky bombs, should have bought explosives, I'm in goddamn idiot. I am not using firework launchers because I like to save this because it is so rare that we get this. Actually, I can't get this anymore, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and put that away and uh, yeah, we're going to throw sticky bombs down there. Uh, so we have to blow up the cars. And let's make a run for it. Yeah. <laughs> There it is. Let's go ahead and take out our gun and take cover. Take cover. Oh my god. Everybody press for impact. Why am I shooting nothing? Oh my god, I can't shoot today. Oh my god, guys, bear with me. It's been a long time since I've played GTA 5. It's been a long time since, in general, since I've played a shooting game. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and blow this to hell up. Uh, I could have sworn there was somebody over here. I. Could have sworn. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull the car up close. I think we're safer in the car than we are over there, so. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're gonna. We're just gonna use this gun and to our advantage and just kill everybody we see. <laughs> okay, there, there's somebody there. Sorry if I don't get these missions 100%, but you know what? We're gonna try the best that we can. And this button is freaking. Oh, uh, try. Press the button. There we go. This freaking button. I'm sorry, guys. This button sucks. Okay. Then again, why don't I use the controller I used yesterday to play Guitar Hero? Yeah, uh, that, again, I use that. In case, you know, like, I have no other choice now. It was terribly placed, but you know what? We'll try it. There you go. I am wasting so many sticky bombs right now. You know what? It's all worth it. And we have one more car right here. And let's just make a run for it. And kaboom. 
Yeah, there we are. there we are. Oh, there's some money here. We're gonna take. I do love collecting money. I love collecting money. Now let's go ahead and take our car and make a run for it. <laughs> now we gotta go to the dealership. So I'll see you guys at the dealership. And we have visitors. Yeah, they're coming after us. Uh, I did not know that was gonna happen. Okay, let's let's just let's just drive away. Uh, yeah, these these guys are gonna be after us the whole time, aren't they? Oh my god, alright, so, I wasn't going to record it, but you know what, there's guys after us, so that's a little suspenseful, uh, if you will. By the way, I bought GTA 4, the complete pack. It came with GTA 4, uh, Liberty, and Liberty City Stories with, uh, of course, the two games of Battle of Gay Tony and Lost and Damn. Uh, I bought it yesterday, or last night. It was about 9 bucks, and as of right now, the sale is over. So, I would say go ahead and check it out now, but it is over. I'm sorry, guys, if you guys didn't get to go to get the game that you wanted on the sale, but it's okay. It's all right. There's always the next time. Um, but I was thinking, like, should I get it or should I not get it? I mean, there's no other game I'm going to get but this. And I haven't installed it as of yet. Uh, like, I have GTA 4 installed. I just don't have Liberty City Stories, like, the update. I don't have it installed right now. So it's still, it, it, it's pretty slow. And at the time that I was up doing it, it was like 11.30 at night, and I was so tired, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go to bed and just worry about this tomorrow, which is obviously today, so I'm going to do it today. Uh, while this video is uploading, as a matter of fact, I'll be doing that, and I haven't even eaten yet, I'm not even that hungry, so. And we are here at Simeon's Place. There's no car there! Okay, let me put it louder, you guys probably can't hear it. God damn, there's no car there! What happened to the car? All right, well, mission passed. Thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars. Look at that. Look at how much I leveled up. Not that much, but you know what? Oh well. <laughs> you guys are probably like, dude, seriously, your level is so low. Deal with it. I don't care. I don't care. All right, let's see if there's anything here that we can do that I like to do. Uh, gas stuff. Yeah, this this one's kind of easy. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Screw it. I'll do it. I'll see you guys in the mission. Of course we have to steal the coke. Yeah, we have to steal the coke because we're bad people. Okay, we're going to park this car right out front here. And we're going to use this as a shield. Actually, you know what? No, we don't. We can use that as a shield. Uh, so hopefully there's nobody on that side. Uh, nope, there's nobody there. Let's hide here and let's start shooting. <laughs> there we go. There's every guy that's there. And I do like collecting all their money that they have because every cent matters, you know. Oh, it's been dropped, and probably you guys are probably saying, dude, going for it. You know what? I'm not that savage like you guys, all right? You guys are savage, but I'm not that savage. And I see you there, buddy. I see you. So let's go ahead and use the good old sniper, and uh, let's go ahead and find these guys. And I cannot see us. You guys are probably saying, dude, he's right there, but I can't see. Oh, I saw that. Wait a minute. There we go. There's one more guy somewhere. Where is he? You know what? He, oh, oh, I saw that. All right. Let's see. Can you stick your head? Poke your head through again? Do it one more time, please. One more time. Thank you. Oh, no, shit. Okay. Right, you know what? It's only one guy, so we'll, we'll go in. All of a sudden, I go in and there's like 600 guys. Yep, what did I tell you? Let's go ahead and collect that. Come on. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a bad shooter. <laughs> You guys are probably saying, dude, you suck. Yeah, I, I don't play shooting games, so just don't judge me, please. Don't judge me, please. Oh, what in the world happened? Are you serious? Really? Are you kidding me? God damn, these lousy new systems. Oh, man, literally, my PS2. They have so many scratches on these discs, it's not even funny, and they still run perfectly fine. A little scratch on GTA 5, that's it. The whole thing's broken, you can't play it ever again. Where's my controller? I left it in the front over there, of course I did. Okay, I got my controller in my hand now. Uh, we're gonna load up the game again. I'm sorry about that failure there, guys. I don't know what happened there. I have no, I, I, I kind of had a feeling something was wrong too because I heard the disc stop spinning. I was like, oh, maybe it's like that. And I, but then I thought, but I still thought to myself, I was like, wait a minute, this is, this never happened. Um, and this game, this disc is new. This is a, literally a brand new disc. Like, I, I don't know how all these scratches got there. 
I kid you not. I don't know. This is my second GTA 5 disc, by the way, because my other one has a cracks in it. At least it's not. At least it doesn't have cracks in it. That's what makes me happy. Like these newer systems are so brutal with these discs. It's not even funny. Like these older systems, I have so many scratches on these discs, and I mean so many of them. And literally, they, they still work like like a charm, like a breeze. And what I mean by older systems, I mean PS2. They freaking run like a breeze, and there's still no freezing, nothing like that at all. This game, one little scratch, the whole thing's broken. You gotta buy a new one. <laughs> Oh, this game hates me. Oh, boy, I hate my life. <laughs> there I am in bed once again. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and load up a mission. I'm not going to call anybody. I'm actually going to go here. There's a way to choose jobs without calling people. So you go to the start menu. You go online, go to jobs, and you click play job. Uh, Rockstar created. And then you want to go to missions. And here are all the missions, of course, that people call up. Uh, I like doing uh, uh, peer pressure. Really easy to do. Really, really simple, easy. So if you guys are new to the missions, you know, and all that, if you're new to GTA V, um, go ahead and try out this mission, peer pressure. It's wicked easy. All you have to do is shoot the guys, and yeah. Go ahead, and maybe you can set it on easy. I play on hard. Just on hard mode is easy enough for me. Um, so yeah. There we go. I always put it on hard. Hopefully it spawns me at the, the freaking pier because I do not want to drive all the way over there. And it doesn't. God damn it. Now I got to drive all the way to the freaking pier, you bastard. The disc has stopped spinning. Come on, buddy, spin. I just got here. Come on. I just heard the disc stop spinning. Please tell me it's going to spin. Come on, man. I don't want to have to scrap this video. Ah. Uh, let me get at least like three missions in and then you can stop all you want. Mm. God damn it. This so stupid scratches, man. Why? Why? You know why we're just going to do this mission like like a normal person and yeah. The strategy to do this is pretty much, um, well, just take cover. <laughs> I, I guess, um, and, yeah, don't do that. That is not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, I would say, first off, take care of this guy right here, but... And my gun is making a lot of noises, obviously, because it's a gun. Okay, so, yeah. No, I do not have the cops, if you're wondering. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and shoot these guys down. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry again about that other mission. I could have reloaded it, but, oh well. I kind of forgot the name of it already. Something get about gasoline, I think. Uh, okay, the meth was dropped, but there's a lot more people over there. Because I know this mission. I love this mission. You know what I actually used to do? I used to actually walk to, to, to Gerald's house. Because like, the more time you spend in the game, the more money you get. But there's, there is a max. I think it's about 15 minutes in the game. If you stay there, you'll get the max amount of cash uh, that you'd get. So, um, but I'm not going to do that. Obviously not, because I'm making a video. So I'll end up driving there. Uh, let's grab all this cash and the meth, of course. And this is the last guy to take care of this guy. Guys, never be afraid to use ammo. Even if you suck like me. Uh, don't be afraid to use ammo. Really, don't. Uh, I, I used to always be afraid to use ammo because like, I didn't want to run out of it. And, yeah. Don't worry. I mean, especially if you have a lot of money. Don't worry about it. And, of course, if you have a lot of money, you should know that. Like, don't be afraid to waste money. Come on, bro. All right, now I gotta deliver the meth, and I'm gonna take the... Oh, it's spinning again. Okay, I just noticed that. And I'm gonna take the meth over to Gerald. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, funny story. I was driving, and I hit this pole, and yeah, I almost died. <laughs> that would've been terrible. Why is it that they make you drive, like, 8 million miles to get from one place to the other? Like, this is... Uh, you know what? Hey, the more, the more time I take, the more money I get. So, you know what? I'm fine with it. And try walking from the pier all the way up to Gerald's house. I've, I've done that. Believe me, I, I have. Uh, and of course, from here, there's another mission he does. And it's down there. I definitely walk from there, whether I like it or not. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, probably. If I, I forgot the name of the mission, but uh, it's down at the, the, the dump over there. And you, of course, you have to collect the meth or the, the coke or whatever it is. There he is. All of his glory. Look at my face. 
Yeah, I took the ponytail off because, yeah, I kind of wanted to, you know, it's been in the ponytail for years, so I wanted to kind of open it up. You know, kind of let, let it straighten out. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, actually, that's that's not, the, that's not why. And look at that, 9180 bucks. If I walked here, I probably could have gotten about eh, 13000 I think. Maybe even 15000 at the max, I think. I think so. I'm not sure how the money works here, but anyway, uh, uh, free mode. <laughs> I forget what that mission's called, though, of, uh, down in the, the dump where it's, uh, it's Gerald's mission. I know that. Oh, man, I forget the name of the, the, the thing, the mission, but I'll be back once I get another mission loaded up. Oh, okay, here it is, Death Metal. This is literally way closer to Gerald's house. And I will be walking to Gerald's house. Yes, I will. It sounds crazy, but it's not even that far. So let's get this mission loaded up. Guys, I am so sorry I keep talking like this, but you know what? I'm going to anyway. So yeah, let me get to the to the uh, the junkyard, and I'll be right back again. Well, that guy just pegged me off. All right, we're here, and I kind of thought to myself. Uh, uh, I should probably show you Demolition Derby, because the last GTA 5 video I made, was, and it was also my first GTA 5 video, it was uh, playing Demolition Derby with Nico, and you guys are probably wondering, what does it look like now? Uh, I will show you guys that, what it looked like, what it looks like now. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you, I'll go ahead and click on edit, and I'll go ahead and show you exactly what it looks like. The marker to, to play it. It's actually near my apartment, only because it makes it faster when, at the time when I would play with my uncle. It would make it faster, just so I wouldn't have to go all the way down there or load it up in the menu. Uh, it's literally right by my garage. Uh, so yeah, uh, I have it there, if you want to play it. It's still there. For This is for 360 users, Xbox 360, if you're wondering. So, uh, okay. Uh, my next video, I think I want to do Granny, which is probably going to be tomorrow. So yeah, uh, I am making videos back to back, probably from here on out. But then again, if I run out of ideas, then I'm just going to not have to upload until I find an idea of what to upload. And this guy, I've literally used an entire round on this guy, and he's still not dead. There you go. Did you say balls for life? Hell yeah, man. No, wait. No, hell no. Grove Street is life, dude. Grove Street is king. Say it with me, man. Grove Street is king. Oh my god, there's definitely somebody behind this freaking car. No, there isn't. Alright. Collect the money. Collect the money. Collect the co- You know what? Screw the money. I'm gonna collect the coke and just drive off to, uh, Gerald's house. Ah, Daryl, 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 Daryl. I said I was gonna walk there, but you know what? I'm driving there anyway. So, yeah. Sorry I keep cutting the video out, because it's just me driving. So, uh, I'll see you guys back when I get there. There we go. We're back. Hey, Gerald. Nice to see you again. There you go, sir. That's it. I killed 6,000 people and that's all you tell me is... Thanks. Great. Get out of here, man. You better give me my cash. Damn right, you better pay me 6,890 bucks. That's nothing, but you know what? I'll take it. Money's money. I'd be damned, man. Something I just remembered. This is a little glitch you can do. To get into Michael's and uh, Franklin's house. Go ahead and look that up online. How to get into Michael's and Franklin's house in GTA 5 online. There is a way. You do have to... You have to uh, Actually, both uh, Franklin's houses, by the way, in the, from the storyline, you can get into both of them. And there are ways to do it. Uh, you pretty much go on top of the roof, join a mission, leave, and then you, you're inside the apartment. And, yeah, it does not work for Trevor, by the way. So go ahead and look up that, those videos, how to do it. I'm not going to be showing you guys... But off to the next mission, uh, I'm going to go find it and I'll be right back. Oops, I accidentally paused it and played it again and paused it again. So yeah, next mission, dry docking. See you guys when the mission starts. Yeah. Well, this is not going to be easy, but you know what? We're going to do it. We're going right in. Crack the safe. Aw, oh, no. Okay, you know what? We are going in for the kill. We're going in. We're going in strong. We're going in strong. I have never actually completed this mission, to be honest with you. Oh my god, there's so many people. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, this, that was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. Let's try that again. And I did that again. I paused it and came back again like three times. Okay, that's 
That's sad. Uh, okay, there's probably someone up in that window, which I cannot shoot from there. Uh, oh my god. We're going in. Man, time flies when you're having fun. Okay, uh... I have never, like I said, I've never actually opened this safe before. And if I have, I have died in the process, so... Oh my god, guys, I am so sorry I suck at this game, okay? Don't judge me, okay? You were like this at one point, weren't you? <laughs> I'm not actually crying right now. I know. Come on, reload faster! Oh, I gotta run. Just run, just run, just run. Just, just run, dude. You're, you're, you're done. Dude, you, it takes like six rounds just to take out one guy. Holy crap. Alright, we are almost dead, so we need to eat some snacks. So snacks come in very good handy. Nope, not some smokes. Nope. Uh, snacks come in handy when it comes to re-leveling up your health. So I really highly suggest that you, that you, uh, that you use them. Alright, so no promises, like I said, that I will complete this mission, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Is this the safe? This is the safe. And uh, I'm not going to have time to get it because there's going to be guys coming after me for days. Okay, let's see if we can crack it. Let's, let's try it. Oh, there's already somebody shooting me. Uh, okay. I can kind of feel it. Felt to exit. There's people shooting at me. Literally, this is why I can never complete this mission, because it's so hard for me to do it. <laughs> okay, it was at 30-ish. And the code reset itself, didn't it? Oh! I shot in the head! <laughs> I shot in the head. Let's try this again. Okay, we're going to do the mission deal breaker from Gerald. This will be the last mission that I am going to do. So let's get this going, shall we? Let's do this real quick. Dear God, we don't belong here. Oh my God, it's starting. This mission should be easy. Because I've done it so many times and it takes like 600 rounds to take somebody out. I know, I'm sorry, this video is very rushed. Uh, really rushed, like, like badly. And I cannot shoot that or else the cocaine, or else I'll fail the mission. Uh, alright, so you know what? I'm sorry guys, my, my bad shooting skills. And it takes like 600 rounds. You guys are probably screaming in the comments, Dude, use this gun! Uh, I, I don't know my guns. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm literally about to sh snipe your ass. Dude, shoot him! Jeez Louise, man. It takes like 6,000 bullets to take one guy out. Alright, can we finally pick up the coke and get the hell out of here? Okay, yeah. We're going to deliver the coke to Gerald, so... Yeah. Okay, we are on our way to Gerald's house. And there was a guy that was coming after me, and I shot him dead. So, yeah. There, there was a whole, like, van of, the, of, the, of these guys. There was literally like four people... Oh, I forgot about that, that they can chase you, and let's go quickly over to Gerald's, and after this, I'm going to load up my Demolition Derby and show you guys uh, what it looks like now. So, so go ahead and check out the, the other GTA 5 video. You, it won't be that hard to find, but it should come up at some point, and that, that was not what I was intending to do, I promise you, and uh, let's go ahead and get the cutscene. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm rushing this, but you can only do so much in half an hour, especially in GTA 5. Sorry, this is not loud enough. I'm sorry, you guys can't hear what he's saying. Don't, don't patronize me, okay? Oh, okay. It's two o'clock. Sorry, I should go eat. Six hundred or six thousand eight hundred ninety dollars. Look at that. I didn't even level up. I should have leveled up, but I didn't level up. That's okay. Oh well. Please don't break. Come on. I hear that this slowly not spinning. Uh. Please don't do that. I'm going to show my Demolition Derby. So, guys, I'm going to load up my Demolition Derby, and I'll be right back with you guys. If you're wondering, it is a last team standing. So, uh, I have two of them. One of them is uh, kind of like the original one where we used to play. I'm not going to be showing that, guys. And, of course, there is uh, the one that you most famously, famously know 
for uh, what me and Nico used to play. So I'm going to be showing you that version, and I'll be right back once I'm in the game. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, not sure if you can play it from, like, if you find it for the marker. But the marker is right here. If you don't know where this is, this is the that apartment that I live in. Here's Michael's house. And here's the apartment. So I'll see you guys all the way down at the bridge where, where the game is. So I'll be right back once I get there. Okay, guys, so it's starting to load in. Here we go. I'm actually coming here now. And since the last time I played it, there weren't many changes. The only changes were uh, just changing the vehicles. Uh, so here it is in all of its glory. Each team has an insurgent. Uh, I forget what this thing's called. I think this is dubs the 4x4. There's the, uh, the, the bulldozer. There's one of these cars here. And there's, of course, a dump truck. And, of course, nothing changed, really. There's the weapons here. And there's... This is, these arrows are the way, uh, they're pointing where, they're pointing this way. So for this team, this is the way you're going to be facing when you spawn. And same thing with this team. And those ramps are way off. Holy crap. Uh, but yeah, it's same thing with this team except facing this direction. Uh, here it is. The, the, the cars, same, same ordeal. An insurgent, a 4x4. Four four, and whatever that thing's called. The bulldozer in the, the dump truck. And I was going to put a boat down there, which I've done originally, but I didn't end up doing it. So, uh, I'm going to end the video off here. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, I need suggestions for Roblox games, for those of you who don't know. Um, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's play the test. Why not? Why the hell not? But yeah, uh, I need suggestions, guys, from you guys for what games on Roblox I should play. Those games have to be free. I do not want to spend Robux playing... Uh, Roblox games, so it has to be a, a game I can play for free. Uh, please, I really would would appreciate that. Why am I bald? Okay, anyway, yeah, we're gonna be playing this right now. Just, just you know, just as a uh, you know farewell to the GTA Online for Xbox 360 for now. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, be sure to leave a like uh, if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Um, yeah, there's pretty much nothing else I can say, really, uh, other than just, like I said, again, give me suggestions on what games to play in Roblox. Again, they have to be free. And um, I do put things in the description below that sometimes I forget to say in the video. So go ahead and uh, make sure you check out the description if you have the time to. It should take about 30 seconds at most of your time to read. I don't make them that long. I mean, I don't make them a Bible verse long. So uh, I'd really appreciate if you guys go and check that out. Uh, and just for the hell of it, I'll show you guys that other Demolition Derby. Uh, so I'll see you guys when I'm at it. Okay, so that last Demolition Derby you guys saw, that was the one me and Nico used to play. This is actually the first one me and Nico used to play. Well, it wasn't this one, but it's a parody of it. So one team was the red team, or the red little cars, and one of them was the blue. But this is my version of it. And uh, this place was open, but the uh, the boundary area was actually smaller. Mine is way bigger now. And uh, there was actually a little container here, and you could, I mean, you could go over it, but, uh, like I said, the boundary is really small. But I thought, might as well show you guys this, I guess, if you guys are wondering uh, what it looked like. This is what it is. It's all it is, um, except the version that me and Nico play on is obviously way better. So, uh, again, uh, we'll, we'll test it, just for the hell of it, so for the end of this video. But, like I said, be sure to leave suggestions below of what you think I should play on Roblox. They have to be free. So, uh... I'll see you guys in my next video, which will probably be tomorrow, uh, playing Granny on the computer. So, uh, yeah. Stay awesome, guys. Uh, tell your friends and family about me. And, uh, yeah. Peace out, guys.